All right, gonna try to get back to some long form videos here on YouTube. Today, I have a update on the barn. We're starting a new project, and that is gonna be to install some new flooring. So the current flooring is these stall mats, which have worked great. They're super durable. They're uh, not super expensive. You can get some that are slightly damaged um, and have little defects like this at a discounted price. They're not bad to put in. If you remember, I linked them together using those plates and that worked really well, kind of held them in place. Overall, they're just a little bit dirty, like from, I did spray foam in here. I did just a lot of cutting wood and dirt and other things where there's just like stains on them. I've tried to get them off, can't quite do it. There's still some pretty big cracks that I don't like. This room gets pretty dusty, so trying to keep it clean is tough and looking nice is a little bit harder just because of the nature of the barn. And uh, I would like to keep it a little bit cleaner. I would like it to look a little nicer. I have the Regapool flooring that I got from Rogue Fitness that I'm gonna install in here today. I'll show you how to get that done. Um, and step one, which I'm working on right now, is getting everything out of the gym or off of the gym floor. And then I'm gonna have to pressure wash and clean the concrete underneath and then slowly start laying the rolls down one by one. Where that is nice about that Regapool flooring is it's gonna match up a lot nicer. It's gonna be a lot closer together. So there's not gonna be as many big seams. It's gonna stay in place a little bit easier. I'm gonna use tape, I believe, to keep that held down. One of the coolest things about that new flooring is it has some speckles in it. So it looks or gives the appearance of the floor being a little bit cleaner more often, right? The dust doesn't look quite as bad on there in between cleanings. So I'm excited about that as well. It's made in the USA. So you're buying an American made product. they did the pyramids. Pretty grubby, not bad though. Got the mats pulled out, time to sweep. Helping that it's slippery. Ooh. First two rolls are down. Surface prep took quite a while to get this thing clean enough, uh, pick up all the dust and the dirt. So I basically did a sweep, a pressure wash, a uh, wet vacuum, another dry vacuum, and then went through all of the edges to pick up any excess dirt that was kind of in the, in the corners. So that got it as clean as it's probably ever been since it was initially laid down in here. I chalked an edge all the way down that first strip. And that gave me a reference point for where to lay the tape. I've got a little bit of overlap on the first piece of tape onto the second mat, and I'm gonna lay another strip of tape down in between these two. And then obviously I have to cut on this end and tape down on that end 
to finish. But so far, the rolls are not bad, like rolling everything out and lining it up. These are 25 foot rolls at four feet across, half inch thick. Um, they're heavy, but it's manageable with one person. The harder thing has been the surface prep, making sure it's good enough so that the tape will stick and you don't have any dust or dirt underneath where you wanna put that tape. All right, so this is the best way that I've found to keep these seams as close together as possible. Um, you kind of lay each one mat a little overlapped over the other. I've got both two pieces of tape down for each side of the mat. And then you can kind of, this tape will still just kind of pull right out the other side of the double-sided tape. And then I'm using the two by four to nudge it over slightly if it needs it which right now i'm kind of to the point where i don't and then just tapping it into place and that creates a very very close seam okay so it was pretty much rinse and repeat after that and this is the finished product Couldn't be more happier with the look and the feel is actually noticeably different. It just feels more stable. Sometimes those stall mats will sink and give or feel like they have some more, a uh, little bit too much cushion to them. So this definitely feels more solid under my feet and it grips better. Like it feels like my foot is a little more secure on this matting compared to a stall mat. So if I missed anything that you guys have questions on in terms of installation, go ahead and fire it off down in the comments below and I will answer it to the best of my ability. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time.